Hello everyone, I am Renal Zero, and we're back again talking about Detractors, Big Daddy, and Dick Masterson once again, because, you know, they still are going about crying about Eric July's ISOM 2, and we're going to go through it. But first, let me just bring your attention to someone who likes to comment on my videos constantly and asking questions about something I've already answered in the video that they supposedly watch and they're supposedly a viewer of mine. But this person claims that my channel isn't growing and my channel isn't getting views and I need all the views I can get because I simply called him out with that saying that he didn't doesn't watch my videos because he always makes a comment in a video commenting about something like asking a question about something I already answered in a video. but. Yeah, totally my channel isn't growing. Let's take a look at Social Blade real quick. These are all my subscriber accounts. These are all my views. My channel definitely isn't growing with a huge month that I've had. 28,000 views last month. 180 subscribers last month. Definitely not growing at all, guys. But for the people who aren't, aren't mentally challenged and aren't unintelligent like my viewers my viewers are very smart people i appreciate you for subscribing and viewing the videos and watching the videos every time i post one i appreciate it very much but let's jump right into what we're really here to view right so this person's still crying about it this is part four there's actually a part six and there's a bunch of other things here but if you can't really see it as someone in here saying they're selling books, one of the issues, if you're not CG King or close to them, you're not really going to grow your business. They need to learn to market to better market better by themselves, which is 100% incorrect, considering I've got a couple of campaigns here that were very, very successful and not connected to CG at all. We got Blade Devil from RGE. We got... Shadow the Conqueror from Shadiversity, from Shadiversity, you know, Shad Brooks from Shadiversity, and we have Acromatic Chronicles Blue by J. John 3PO. Each of them doing over $100,000 without any connection to CG at all. I mean, you can say J. kind of knows who Ethan Van Skyver is, but he really had no promotion outside of just word of mouth from his team of Geeks and Gamers, Eric July. Etc. Etc. But this is 100% incorrect that that doesn't happen. That people don't have, grow without CG. But besides all that, let's get right into this clip. Outside of his community, outside of his little community of retards, nobody would fucking take Young Ripper's book seriously. You try and that's perfectly fine. He's actually okay with people outside of his fan base not taking the book seriously because he's selling to his audience essentially that's what most people do they typically sell their book to their audience try to give that that shit you try to give young ripper's comic to sick kids one of them's liable to fucking prematurely uh pull the plug after he reads that shit yeah that's just, that's just disgusting of you to say by the way fucking joke yeah, one of the reasons why everybody's playing nice with this clown, they think uh, they can suck clout from him, that they could use his uh, platform to sell their shit or whatever. But has Eric July ever used his platform to, to help people sell their shit? Yes. He's promoted J. Junk 3 pos book. He's promoted Blade Devil from RGE. He's used a lot. He's he's promoted Ethan Van Skyver's book, Shane Davis's books. John Malin's books like what are you talking about bro uh, again this this is how you know people like this clown do not watch Air July at all they just spew a bunch of bull crap and this be and they're just disingenuous and they lie like it could just be all a uh, fruitless endeavor like if he's not gonna fucking you know shill any of your shit then why would you fucking even bother with the guy fucking roast is fucking shit comic for what it really is honestly you're not owed any type of shilling on his channel anyway it's his channel he has every right to shill or not shill your product but he chooses to because he sees the loyalty in people like all the people i've mentioned 
So you're not owed anything just because you know Eric July. Exercise is good. This is one of those psychotic people who wants to pull up and shave, shave young Ripa. It's weird. Detractors can't meme. Yes, they made these weird memes about Isom last month, you know, during Pride Month. I have a good guess on what Isom's true superpower will be. It's him holding the trans flag. Weird. Super cringe. Monetize your haters. And it's some weird account called Ripperverse. That's weird. Isom Pride. And then this is the cover of Isom number one, cover A. Of course, obviously without this garbage flag. Pride, Ripperverse, no. Just no. Just absolutely no. This is Mike Malone, one of Eric July's biggest detractors. He's got a lot of them. Go check out Ripperverse Goal Post's YouTube video on his biggest detractors. It'll be linked in the description. It's weird. It's almost as if a two-year-old video can still piss people off. First day on the internet, kiddo. Next detractor video you do, I'll like my own little segment. I feel like ignore my fees are hurt. No one cares. I consider making a video on you, or at the very least, including you in a segment, but the problem is you're too boring. Step your detractor game up, maybe I'll reconsider. As of now, you're merely an extra slash background character. Jesus. By the way, he does this to screenshot the tweets in case the people delete the tweet. Now realize this is part six. We went from part four, and we're now in part six. I don't know why, you know, E. Summers was raised by a single mother because Eric July was raised by a single mother. Eric is lucky to not be deleted or in jail. I guess he's succeeding since he's not a statistic. That's pretty racist, but just saying. Raised by a single mother, I almost guarantee you. You want to know why I know Esam was raised by a single mother? It's because Eric July himself was raised by a mother fucking single fucking mother. You wouldn't know that if you actually haven't waited to see what the other two books are going to bring. It is a three-part arc, once again. So how would you even know if whether or not I sum has a father? You really don't know, because it's not really said in the book at all. Motherfucker! Mm-hmm. Eric July was raised by a single mother. And yet somehow him being raised by a single mother never really crutched him. Never, He was never really at a disadvantage. Because he learned how to overcome that and made it made it himself into a successful person by being a, a an athlete and having a successful YouTube channel, getting married, and having a successful comic book business. So what's your what is your what is the point that you're making here? That explains almost everything doesn't it <laughs> anybody knows single mothers all you gotta do is look up the fucking statistics they are basically the kindling that is stoking the fires that is burning down western civilization eric july is lucky he's not in jail or dead right now to be honest <laughs> yeah i guess he did uh, kind of make it make it with his life but the simple fact the motherfucker is not dead or in jail i guess uh, he's succeeded because that's what happens when you're raised by a single mother and you're a black man, usually you end up dead or in jail. Okay. No fucking joke. The cat's in the cradle and the sail of a spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the moon. Yeah, I bet there's going to be a, a story arc where Esau uh, finds his estranged father or something like that and then kicks his ass. You disrespected, you disrespected my mama. Now i got to fight you. But then he gets his ass kicked. Yep. If you hate the book so much, why are you so interested in what you think is going to come? Young Ripper, your character is so fucking trash. Why don't you tell us again about his motivations? Explain it to me like I'm five, Eric. Explain your character. Probably does have to explain it to you like you're five because you're acting like you're five. Character's motivations again to me. What more is there to understand? He was disrespected in the club. You just simply don't get it. To be disrespected in the club is the worst thing that ever could happen to a black man. Why, he might as well have had his Air Jordan stolen and his mama slapped. You just simply... That's pretty racist there, bud. That's what you think, I guess. Don't get it, whole ass cracker. He was disrespected. In the club. All up in the club. 
Yep. Also, if you haven't noticed or anyone who has watched any of my previous videos that included this guy, he's so fixated on that club scene. It's it's actually quite hilarious. Yeah, white people just don't get it. We just don't get it. Yeah, club and, and black people, it's, it's a sacred thing. Far, far more sacred and sacrosanct than a church is to a Christian or a mosque is to a Muslim. That was about no, that's pretty racist. About the worst thing you could do to a black man, be disrespected in the club. <laughs> this guy's weird. Anyway, depressed, uh, depressed right now, Paul says, Hi, I'm a journalist for an independent news program. Do you have any reply to the allegations against Air July for charity fraud by the SEC? Which, by the way, the burden of proof is on you. You're the one making the allegations, so essentially the burden of proof is on you. It's weird. Ripperverse has a serious staff issue. There's just a serious lack of professionalism. Yeah, definitely some. There's definitely some professionalism coming out of Marvel and DC who are constantly disrespecting their fans and disrespecting their time by making all these side stories and multiverses. Yeah, there's definitely some professionalism there. Learn to write your angry knee-jerk reply in a Word doc and come back later when you cool down to make a more professional reply. This is probably in response to, to, to. Uh, Andrew, <laughs> they're, they're, they get so mad at him when he calls them Moogles. Eric is once again proving himself to be a pick-me racist loser. Yeah, says the guy who, who's constantly a reply guy for Eric July and Geeks and Gamers and all that. Right? And Nerdrotic. I'm still hearing that Isom is code for I suck off men. And the comic is a coded guy for the locations of DL hookup locations for anonymous gay relations. Can anybody in the Ripperverse confirm this? Dude, what is wrong with these people? These people are weird, man. CBR Radical Feminist Grilling Skill, Getting Scrifting Skill Hack Writer David Hart spends hours complaining about the Ripperverse. I wonder when this was supposed to. Oh, well, this was yesterday. Why would anyone with a lick of sense or intelligence buy Isom? Just going by price, not even taking into account that it's written by someone who obviously doesn't know how to write a comic book. Obvious to who? Hacks from CBR? The comic book resource website that's supposed to be unbiased, and you're not? It certainly is not cheapish unless you're counting CG Grift comics. Of course, it's, it's not a grift, buddy. Books like Isom are made to milk money from the consumer. At $35, he'd have to sell 100,000 copies to make what he did. He didn't. That's actually incorrect. Basic math, I guess, is hard for you. The only reason he made as much money as he did was he over overcharged for multiple versions of the book. Yeah. Yeah, sure, bud. You're just mad you can't make money like that. And how much do you want to? How much do you want to get that he didn't sell sixty units to sixty thousand people? How many of those sixty thousand bought multiple copies? How many bought the most expensive editions? I doubt he has more than twenty thousand actual customers. Well, let's check that out for you, buddy. Let's go check that out because it's so transparent for stupid people. Oh yeah, forty-two thousand nine hundred and twenty-six purchasers. But ISUM number one. Holy shit, it's so hard because it's so transparent on Ripperverse.com how many purchasers he had. Crack smoker. And the best part of this is the book has no aftermarket outside his fans. No one will buy the more rare editions outside his group. And still making more money than you, buddy. Still worth more than your entire job. Comic stores won't sell them and they won't buy the red editions because no one will buy them. The whole thing is hilarious. Yeah, because the comic stores that didn't... Apparently, the comic stores that bought copies of this book didn't absolutely sell out every single time. <laughs> yeah, bud. Sure. An image is third place in superhero comic sales. 60,000 units. What item sold probably is pretty close to the regular order of theirs from the printer. Eric overcharges, that's all there is to it. Yeah, everything they buy from the printer, you know, the comic shops, don't all get sold to customers, whereas Eric's books get sold direct to customers. They don't go through distributors. He is the distributor. 
Dude, he ordered 60,000 copies. You were telling me that he couldn't get a deal and make the base edition less than $35 at retail? Then you really don't understand anything you're talking about. I need to log off 80 pages for $35 and see. Which, by the way, it's 96 pages. So, again, basic math is hard for you. Thinking is hard for you. Your room temperature IQ doesn't help the fact that you're an idiot. It, it doesn't help. Basic intelligence is lost on you. With your room temperature IQ brain lit ass. In comic publishing it is. That's a pretty good print run. He should have gotten some kind of break for bulk. Or if he could have had a bigger print run. To keep to keep on hand for orders. So he's either a shit bullshit businessman. Or he's grifting. 80 pages for $35 is not a good deal. Again it's 96 pages. And then even the next book is 112 pages for $35. Printed on better paper than normal comic books. Overall, Marvel and DC floppies, and it's probably a better story than anything that's out right now, modern Marvel. And as far as graphic novel sales for the month of May and June, he's outsold them all with Isom too. So we can always go there, but let's move over to Dick Masterson real quick. You had Andrew calling out a bunch of people. You know, Femme, Hector Hammond, Broke, Fat Fuck, which is Vito, Mosquito Dick, which is, of course, Dick Masterson, Pancake Jeff, Skill Issue, This Reject, Mentally Unhinged, he's referring to ASEE -E, 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 -E Presents, Riley, as the Mentally Unhinged, Mosquito Dick, lol, Air July, you're an effing moron for employing a staff to ship three culture war books a year, they're not culture war books, by the way, they're just comic books, fire them and put the money into an index fund, you stupid money illiterate, F. Newsflash, probably has more money than you will ever see. You're so mad at Andrew because he has an opinion you don't like. That's exactly what it is. Shut up, you unhinged freak. Rip reverse social media manager, ladies and gentlemen. You're really bringing some class into indie comics, Air July. Yeah, Air July is allowing his employees to have their own opinion. Mind blowing. Waiting for Dick to come on and call Eric an N-word. This harassment of black and trying to run a business is racist. Eric called me the N-word three times. He actually used the A, not the E-R. I still haven't gotten an apology for that, which... It, he's allowed to say that, by the way. Are you, and, of course, we got another detractor, Andy Signore, who said originally that I sum was going to fail, by the way. This clown. Are you Mosquito Dick? Who's fat fucking Pancake Jeff? Also, why is that Liberty dude following me? Thanks, I guess. Maybe he can answer this. I thought Eric isn't afraid of his haters. Why won't he have Dick on a stream to debate it all at once and for all? Is he afraid? I have this in my comments, too. There's a dude in my comments. It's probably him. It's probably this loser on a burner account. Saying, oh, is Eric July afraid to, to debate Dick and Vito? Even though he, he's debated both of them on Flashcast. And they've got absolutely destroyed on, live, on a live stream with Flash. With Yellow Flash. And even Yellow Flash told them they're freaking idiots. Yeah, Eric July, have me on your stream so you can explain why you're keeping so much money donated to kids with cancer. It's a comic book charity, dog. You're, you're dumb. Two days ago, Dick was claiming that he bullied a black man. No, good luck regardless of what side you're on. I thought you guys were keeping the SJWs out of comics. Well, keeping you out of comics because you're, you're an idiot. Super Killer doesn't sound that bad besides another multiverse story, which is the Vito the Pedo story. Wouldn't you, Vito, and your fans spending all this time on Eric's comments be better served promoting it? Or is being in a pissing match more important? For Dick Masterson, probably is. Why didn't Eric July give the Cancer Kids charity all the money people donated for them? Because it's a charity to give comic books, you idiot. Jesus. You should sell some more $17 charity comics for my mental health, probably. Probably should. Of course, you're promoting 12 hours. This is probably why you're super salty. This this right here is the funding for Vito the Pedo's comic book over on Indiegogo. Making just sly of 70, 70 grand. Finally promoting it after weeks on end of Air July, of crying about Air July's ISOM 2. You're finally promoting it on your Twitter after weeks and weeks and weeks. Probably a month and a half by now. He posted it 12 hours ago when it was at 6 hours left. 1,200 backers, right? Versus 42,926. About 42 times more people buying ISOM 1 over Super Killer. 
even with ISUM 2, 14,000 purchasers sitting at $1.665 million, right? And cover D hasn't even been put out yet. The short box hasn't even been put out yet. I'm pretty sure more people still want to donate more books. Over 1,200 books donated. It's like, bruh. Do y'all not understand how much clown world this is? Uh, let's see. What what did what did what did Super Killer end at? What what did Super Killer end at? Let's find out if we can even find it. Probably can't even find it on here. Here it is. So now it's in in demand. It's just it, it made over seventy grand, right? So it went into in demand. It ended. On July 2nd, you know, it was funding ended July 2nd at 726110 to 1275 people. Now it's currently 1280 people. And this is what this is the competition, I guess, for Eric July. But considering that he's doubled that, even on ISUM 2, come on, bro. And it probably 40, 42 times that. For ISUM 1, come on, dude. There ain't no competition here. Clearly, people don't give a shit about Vito. People actually care about what Air July has products. Air July's products that he puts out, people actually care about that. That's why he makes as much money as he does, sells as much product as he does, because people are actually passionate about the stuff that he puts out. But no one gives a shit about what Vito has to put out because of his terrible opinions about movies like cuties thank you all for checking out this video really do appreciate all the new subscribers turning subscribers new viewers turning viewers if you do like this video hit the like button comment below what you feel about all this subscribe for more content hit the bell for notifications set the bell to all that we get notifications anytime i post a new video and i'll see you all on the next one peace